What up YouTube? This is Nars here and I wanted to make a video on our, what are, in my opinion, top three chess websites to both play and study. So, as you might guess if you're watching rather than just listening, my top pick, I'm actually going in 1-2-3 order, not 3-2-1 order, so no suspense here. Uh, my top pick is LeeChess.org, as you can see over here, and so you, you don't have to type the EN, you can just type leechess.org, EN I believe is in English, but you can change the settings of language, I think it has 10 different languages or so. Um, but so anyway, leechess is a place to play and study, and so what makes it so great particularly, say compared to chess.com? Well, I'm not going to diss chess.com, I was a chess, I still am a chess.com member, in fact I referred you know, maybe 20, 30, 40 people to the site. A bunch of them become premium members, and I actually had premium membership myself for a while uh, as a reward for referring so many people. So I think I think it's a fine site, and I like some of the features they have, like videos. Um, although, with so many good channels on YouTube, I feel like the video aspect is less of a draw. Um, less of a draw to uh, to join the site. But anyway, we're on Lee Chess, so how do you create a game? Let's just start with the basics. So if you go to create a game, I'm going to create a one minute game just to kind of show you rating range, let's say 1600 to 2900 random side. Well, I don't want to play Chess 960. In fact, well, I do want to play Chess 960, but definitely not with a minute. I don't even want to play regular chess with a minute, but we're going to do this just to show off the site, and we're not going to judge ourselves too hard for, um, oh, no one really wants to play casual. Let me get rid of that. I don't know why it said casual uh, rated. Okay, let's play a one-minute game. Someone will join. You can see how quickly someone will join your game. Uh, hopefully we won't be waiting too long, because then you won't be able to see how quickly. Uh, okay, and there we go. We got Boheme Royale. I don't have too much... Time to BS because I only have a minute to play. So let's just do this quickly. And hopefully he won't move as quick. That'd be nice. Ah, he does move as queen. Too bad. I'm just going to try to press forward with e5. Okay, he's moving his king, but that's not really stopping my plan. Okay, do I even have enough defense? Probably. I don't. So, but if he does that, um, again, I have not much idea what's going on in such a fast time control. Okay. Oh, this is not good. I'm losing a pawn. If he, if he just takes and takes here, he'll be attacking my queen. I don't have time to, to pin it with f4. So he should just do that, but instead looks like he's going to run out of time. Um, or he may do that, but... Okay, I kind of like what's going on now. Um, I kind of like this move. Just got to make sure I don't get... Uh, yeah, let's just play this weakening move here. Uh, I don't want to trade. I don't want to trade. I want to try to kick this knight away. Doki, oh man, there's probably a tactic there somewhere, but we don't have time for that shit. Excuse my language. Oh, we can trade queens, that's true. But I do like having a rook on the seventh. Now we're going to get rid of that knight next, and uh, hopefully checkmate him, or he'll run out of time. So, anyway, that's a game on here. And, oh, I forgot to show you... One of the features I liked, which is when you try to make a pre-move, I think I can do that on the analysis board. So this brings me to one of the most awesome things about Lee Chess. Uh, actually, Chess.com also does have this feature, I believe, which I should say. Um, but a few years ago, no one had this feature. A few years ago, if you wanted a strong engine to analyze your games, you would have to buy one, pay 100 bucks or something for Chess Base. Just drink the water. And... I'll show you another amazing feature um, soon. So, all this seems pretty normal. This game I thought was actually pretty decently played for uh, 
Let me, okay, so I lost all my advantage here. Um, I should have just been more patient. Attack the bishop. But you can go over variations. You can create cre create um, variations, and you can play around. This is one of the best ways to improve, I think. You just play around. What if he does this? What if he does that? It, it, it's not really enough to be like, oh, the computer says plus one. That means white is winning. It actually means almost nothing unless you understand why white is doing well. Um, and that means going over variations and... Uh, Let's just jump to another part of the game. Oh yeah, so it's pretty equal. Oh, this is not as bad as I thought. Yeah, I'd say we played amazingly well for a uh, one minute game. Oh, oh, what did I miss? Ah, it just shot up to two for a second. I guess I didn't really miss any, anything. And, uh, ah yeah, here we go out of time. So I was hoping in a one-minute game there'd be more blunders and we could explore sub variations, but uh, I want to get some of the other features of the, the website. So one of the awesome features, oh, I should show you, I'm going to demonstrate this feature by showing you um, Finn's profile. So Finn's is um, also known as John Bartholomew on YouTube. So you can see all his games, you can see his profile. Um, my tactics trainer rating is higher, but that's probably because he's barely done any puzzles. But um, if you look here, you can see imported games. Actually, this was in my favorites, so I think the start is just games played. And you could look at all someone's games. Not only can you look at all their games, you could look at their games at the computer analysis as well. And you can look at imported games. So you might say, oh, well, the computer analysis is available online. That's great, but chess base lets me save games. Well, so does Lee Chess. And you can put your games on Lee Chess, and then if your computer crashes, you won't lose your tournament history. It's all there on the internet. Anytime you can access the internet, um, you can look at it all. So some of these are, I assume, USCF games. Some of them, Jake, I don't know who Jake is, maybe one of his students. Um, and yeah, you can look at uh, the analysis. I believe you can also make your own notes. So. This is a great feature. And there's also this Chess Insights thing, which I haven't explored too much. Um, I believe you can even get tactical puzzles out of your own games. But the ta talking tactical puzzles, so that leads me to um, the next thing that I want to show you guys. Well, first let me show you tournaments, actually. So the cool thing about Lee Chess, all the tournaments are free. There's no premium memberships where you can get a certain amount of tournaments. All the tournaments are free all the time. So... And there's multiple tournaments going on all the time. There's a one-minute tournament, three-minute tournament, five-minute tournament, ten-minute tournament. They have uh, under 1,700 tournaments, under 1,500 tournaments, under 2,000 tournaments. They even have tournaments for um, all the different variants. Uh, you can also create your own tournament. If nobody knows you, chances are no one's going to join your tournament. But if you're John Bartholomew or somebody with a large circle of friends, you can create a personal tournament mm. so that's pretty cool another thing is that um, there are play learn training I'm actually not sure what practice is so you get you get you can get puzzles I don't know if I want to spend too much time going over these puzzles when you see this move list you might be like what the hell is this what it is is all these puzzles are from actual games played on leechess.org, which is pretty neat in my opinion, um, because sometimes you might say, "Oh, well, how often is that to occur in a real? Often, how likely is that to occur in a real game?" And this actually is from a real game. So my first thought is uh, to kick the queen, which defends this rook. The rook's attacked twice, defended twice. If you kick the queen. Um, I'm not sure what White's going to do about it. So this looks like a fairly straightforward puzzle, unless I'm missing something. Um, yeah, well, in the interest of time, if I get it wrong, you can use the, um, the, anal the engine to analyze this as well. So let's just go for it. Okay, I failed the puzzle. That's okay. I'll give you the solution. So the solution is to take first 
and then play there. So let's see my why my idea is wrong. Um, computer says take here. Okay, why why is this wrong? Oh, it's wrong because I've uh, I don't have enough material. I got a oh, white does have an awful lot of pawns. It says white's totally. So obviously I'm not getting given this a lot of thought. If I would have given it a lot of thought, no guarantee I'd get it correct. But oh yeah, this is this is good because, huh? I guess when we're taking the queen, we're also hitting the knight. This knight is hit, so if the queen moves, we're just going to be a clear rook up. Um, and if you decide to do this, now we're hitting two pieces at the same time. So, and we have the queen over here. So, anyway, let's see. This puzzle was rated 2,500, so I don't feel too bad about missing it. The The ratings uh, are kind of inflated. Like, a 2,500 puzzle on Lee Chess is probably like a 2,100 on Chess Tempo, I would say. Um, yeah, I'd say they're... Inflated like three to four hundred points from chess tempo, which I'll go over later. You can also look at past puzzles um, and look at this one. And uh, let's see. Oh, I, I think I do remember this one. Let's see. I, the first time I, I I solved this, I spent at least ten minutes on it. But here. Here, uh, I just remember, and I don't even remember why, but he's, I have to trade rooks first. I remember that. He takes with a rook. Now we pin the knight, take the knight, and exchange. So that's just from pure memory. There's some reason why it's it. And you, you don't get uh, points for puzzles you've already solved. Um, actually, there is some repetition. But, oh yeah, let me show you the source game. Here's the source game. Actually, it shows the source game on the side. Usually I do these on my tablet. It shows the source game on the side with analysis. And this is by two players on Lee Chess. Oh, it looks like a nice upset, 1700 beat of 2100. Um, yeah, and it's kind of gratifying because a lot of the times um, the players playing the game got the solution incorrect. So... Let's see, what have we learned? We've learned how to do tactics on Lee Chess. We've learned how to play tournaments on it. Well, actually, we haven't learned how to play tournaments. But um, it's pretty basic. You join a tournament, um, and it automatically pairs you, and that's it. And uh, community it has all the usual stuff, forums, question and answers. Uh, what is Lee Chess TV, you might ask? You can look at the top-rated game in any one of these categories. And, uh, yeah, one, one uh, complaint, people. Excuse me. Might have um, about Lee Chess compared to like say ICC or Chess.com. You might say, oh well, there's not as many strong players, and it's true. There's not as many strong players. Uh, there are international masters, as you can see, but there's not as many GMs as definitely not as many as ICC. But that's changing. There's a lot of prominent YouTubers who are starting to uh, stream off Lee Chess. Uh, John Bartholomew, William Pascal, and others. I'm not nearly in that category, but I, I just enjoy the site because I like the interface the most. It's free, and yeah, I enjoy the tactics. It's just like a good one-stop shop to go to. Oh, and there's no ads. You might notice there's no ads. Where's chess.com? A, there's tons of ads. B, they're like begging you every second to like give them your money, and it's kind of a turnoff. On the other hand, they have a ton of features. Uh, they do have some features Lee Chess doesn't have for premium members, but you know my personal preference is this is way better. Also, when you pre-move, uh, the pre-move does not. I can't do it because this is not my game. Let me play one more game just to show you how it's how pre-move works. Hopefully, I'll win again. That'd be nice. Um, <clears throat> come on, take my game. In the corner, you see the uh, top-rated game is usually playing here. They also have the puzzle of the day you can try to solve. Usually, pretty easy. 
and then you can jump into uh, <clears throat> doing more puzzles. All right, there we go. So, show you the pre-move thing. When I find something to pre-move. So, let's see. Oh, okay, he moved too fast for me to even pre-move. Bullet's really not the best... Uh, place to show off the premium feature. Okay, I'm a little discombobulated here. I don't know really how that's happening. I think I'm going to bring the knight from here over to here. So that would be a pre-move. That's an illegal pre-move. But you see it doesn't cover the... Um, couldn't hurt to defend this defending bishop here. Uh, he may play bishop here and then into here. Oh, that's surprising. Um, I don't mind if he takes my bad bishop. All right, now I think we're totally even at least. Um, yeah, let's keep the knight out of there. Yeah, I'm kind of discombobulated and don't have a plan. I don't know if I really want to bring the uh, knight here where it'll get taken. Uh, I'm going to trade everything that's fine with me. Now I have to be careful I don't move my king so the knight here doesn't... Oh, I did a pre-move without even thinking about it. Again, I don't know if my, how, how well placed my knight is here. But uh, I also don't know if that's a good idea. I may just be losing this pawn. Um, Twelve seconds left. Ah, I can't do that. Damn it. Six seconds. Okay, you're giving me a piece. I will take your piece and I'll try to trade queens and then checkmate you. Or you're probably going to run out of time. Okay, he's going to run out of time. Ah! Okay, that was a bad move. Blunder. Well, not really. I, I thought the queen could come back here. So I showed you pre move. The pre move, unlike on chess.com and Lee Chess uh, and. Uh, ICC doesn't cover the piece, and that I like, and yeah, th this site is really, you can explore it, it has open and explore it, he even has a six game table base, um, if I had like a quick end game example I could show you that, let me, let me if you go to the analysis board, uh, if you click on the book, let's just jump to a uh, random position, and looks like it has, so these are Lee Chess, you can set this for uh, Lee chess, you can also say what rating you want to look at. You can also see it's ever occurred in master games. And uh, no, no masters have ever played that particular position on the Lee chess database. Anyway, let's move on to our next site. Chess Tempo. So, that's me, Nars. I've played a lot of Chess Tempo, as you can see, almost 1,200 hours of my life. Certainly a better use of time than reading YouTube comments, although, you know, I've read a few fun ones. So, it gives you a little calendar. Actually, this is for pre premium members give you a calendar, but you have unlimited tempo tactics um, for free. And this site has, like, a special place in my heart because it's one of the first training sites I started using. So, uh, one cool thing about this Try new beta tactics. Hmm. They're, they're always adding new features. The guy Richard who runs this site is awesome. Um, the, the site is pretty intuitive uh, to increase the size of the board. You can just drag it like this. This is a theme set I have, the end game set. Um, this is one of the advantages of premium memberships. You can create custom custom uh, puzzle sets. My end game set, for instance, is uh, tactics only involving positions which have, I believe, 12 pieces or less total. So one side has six, other side has six, one side has seven, the other side has five. Pieces include pawns. Um, I've actually made a ton of other sets. Um, personal, I have, I was, had a bet with my friend once to see who were going to do, to, who, who was going to do how many tactics on each site. 
um, yeah, lower rated puzzles for students, um, eight pieces or fewer, 17 to 1900 endgame, ton of, ton of endgame, oh, oh, mixed. There's another feature on chess.com, I mean, excuse me, chess tempo. Uh, oh, I'm already there, let me change the set, and it's mixed. In mixed mode, let me, oops, yeah, mixed, let me change the settings, the preferences. I'm going to say easy, because I want to I want to do show you a puzzle, but I don't want to be having you watch me sit here thinking for 20 minutes, because that's not fun. All right, so let's do an easy mixed problem. So what does easy mean? Easy is relative to you, to your rating. So with mixed, you don't know whether you're trying to have a winning move or you're just trying to survive. Sometimes you're just trying to survive, where there's actually only one move that even holds a level position, all other moves lose. So, anyway, here we're in check. Um, we can take the bishop, and after knight takes, looks maybe equal if we're lucky. We do have two rooks, but he's got three extra pawns. So, if we move the king, you can check us over here. I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, this move's not really worth considering. Uh, only moves, only candidate moves to my eye is uh, moving the king. This is obviously bad because of the knight fork. Um, so either king here or take the bishop. Take the bishop, knight takes, and then he's attacking this pawn. Do we have any kind of made up here? It doesn't look like it. Um, I don't see the value of moving king. So do we want to preserve this bishop so we have restricts the king? Uh, if we move and black takes, it's pretty good. Looks like, well, then we're threatening the knight and we're threatening check and check again with mate, unless the knight comes here to defend the square. Um, yeah, in the interest of time, again, I don't want to take forever on this. Oh, this is actually looking pretty easy. Now I'm seeing there's back rag problems. If we take the bishop, knight takes, rook here. If the knight moves, we are uh, threatening a back rag mate. The question is, bishop here, knight here, pinning. What if he just plays rook takes check here, and then rook back to c3, defending the... Bishop. Oh, I think we can actually just move the king, attack the rook, and when the rook moves, we take the bishop. So, again, I could analyze more deeply than two and a half minutes, but I don't want to take up too much of you guys' precious time. So, I got the move correct. If I wouldn't have got it correct, the puzzle wouldn't continue. It would just end. So, before I automatically make the next move, let me see if there's a better idea. I don't think there is. We move. I believe this is the correct move. And I believe after this it'll say, problem solved. All right. Well, we win. I guess Black's idea with this last move is to... Uh, come here try to trade rooks but of course that's totally hopeless so yeah the puzzle as you can see chess tempo the standard rating 1750 i feel like on lee chess that would be at least a 2000 problem the mixed rating is lower uh oh, there's no comments on it yet that's too bad one of the best features on chess.com that you don't see on lee chess excuse me chess tempo.com i'm talking a little too fast because i don't want to take up too much time with this video um, is most of the puzzles actually have comments. Uh, also, premium members can see where the puzzle is from. Unlike Lee Chess, where all the puzzles are from member games, on Chess Tempo, most of the puzzles come from actual master games. Often Grandmaster, but almost always above 2200 level games. Uh, the, the games have, uh, the puzzles have ratings. If it gets too many one-star ratings, they usually remove the puzzle. 
Um, I could vote on it. I, I actually liked that. I'll give it five stars. Um, and yeah, I thought it was pretty tough for uh, 1,700 people. You can also you can also look at uh, <clears throat> other variations for premium. I'm actually this is why I put Lee Chess first because Chess Tempo doesn't have computer analysis. They kind of analyze the top few moves if you're premium, uh, and they do have the comments on 90% of the puzzles. Let's just uh, go back to my profile real quick. Um, um, how do I even check out my profile? I should know this since I'm sure. All right, let's go to someone else's profile. Oh, this guy's like a beast. And he takes the time to comment for people too. I don't know how he does this. It looks like all he does all day, every day, is do tactics. And he only failed four this month. He's done every single tactic on the site probably 15 times each. He's done... He's like a machine. I don't know how he does it, but let's look at um, one that he's uh, one that he's done. This is just a random puzzle. I don't know what it is, but chances are I bet it has a lot of comments. Okay, eleven comments, one hidden, kind of like on YouTube. You can thumbs down stupid comments on here. You, you, usually the the hidden comment is like, "Oh, I'm a genius. I got it right three seconds." Let's just see. Why is this so high rated? People saying it's overrated. So they can show how smart they are, shit like that. Um, and you, you often have questions like these. What's the difference if Rook takes e3 first? And again, I'm not looking at this puzzle in depth. But then f5 hangs in that case. Okay, yeah, this hangs with check. So uh, a lot of people's answers, questions will be answered on here. So I'm using Lee Chess Tactics more lately. But I still think Chess Tempo is an excellent site. And the fact that all, all, almost all the puzzles from Master Games is worth something. So, also the, the guy who runs it is, is a great dude. And they have different... On Lee Chess, it's just tactics. That's it. On here, they have mixed tactics, standard tactics, blitz tactics. In blitz, um, you get bonus for solving quickly and detriment for solving slowly. Um, so, what's the last site? Uh, I'm going to cut this off at the 30-minute mark. Last site, you can probably guess if you look to the top of your screen, it's YouTube. So, YouTube, let me show you like John Bartholomew, um, Chess Explains, um, Chess Edge, yeah, he's okay. Chess Network, Chess Network is maybe one of the best for beginners, although overall the best between these two guys, John Bartholomew and Chess Explained, are awesome. Um, let's see. And, uh, you know, even people like me, hopefully this video is helpful to you, useful. Uh, what was that? There was another one I was thinking. Oh, Ben Feingold, St. Louis Chess Club. Um, yeah. Again, YouTube is not for playing chess, but if you were on a desert island and you could only have two, uh, access to two websites and you wanted to become a chess master, I think you could do it just off YouTube and Lee Chess alone. Um, there are um, pay-to-watch subs subscription sites, chess.com for instance, chesslecture.com I believe is great. Uh, if I were to recommend you want to watch video content beyond uh, YouTube, go ahead and join chesslecture.com, pay 25 bucks, join it for a month and download all the videos you can and then watch them in your own time at home. Uh, they allow you to do that, which is cool, unlike chess.com, where you only get access to the videos as long as you're a paying member. And uh, I've done that, actually, on the subway where there's no Wi-Fi. Well, there's Wi-Fi, but not between stations. I, I watch chess lecture videos that I've downloaded. And, um, yeah, so that pretty much sums it up. This is actually the second time I did this video. The first time the sound was not recording, and I stupidly didn't test the sound. That sound, by the way, is uh, our pet pigeon annoying me in the background. She tries to hump my foot or something. Um, so, yeah, this is my second attempt. I actually was a little more prepared the first time around. But hopefully you still get the gist. And just remember, uh, LeeChess.org, number one. YouTube, number two. And Chess Tempo, number three. Uh, if you have any other honorable mention sites you'd like to mention, 
please mention it in the comments. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.